What exactly does it take to build out a go-to-market strategy? Why do you even need one? When do you need one? And what does a good go-to-market strategy even look like? These are all great questions. You absolutely need a go-to-market strategy if you've crossed that path where you've been building product, building product, building product, and you're now focused on revenues and driving growth. You need a go-to-market strategy. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what a go-to-market strategy looks like and the critical questions to answer for your go-to-market strategy so you actually have an unstoppable one. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you navigate the path to the next stage of growth with an unstoppable strategy. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's really awesome to have you here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop an episode. If you're already a member of the community, if you're part of my SaaS Go to Market program, welcome back. Really great to have you here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna dig into exactly what an unstoppable go-to-market strategy looks like and why you need one. If you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. So first of all, do you even need one, right? If you're past the point where you have built your product and you're generating revenues or you're making, maybe you're going towards initial revenues or you're looking to scale revenues. Either way, you essentially need a strategy for your go-to-market. A strategy will actually help you do this. This is your standard sales and marketing funnel for a SaaS business. A lot of people don't like the word funnel. In reality, you can call it a customer journey or you can call it a funnel. I don't really care, but you're doing the same damn thing, which is you're figuring out a way to attract people that are in your ideal customer profile, your market. You're trying to convert them to a real lead so that they actually engage with you. Then you're trying to get them into a sales conversation or get them to try your product so that they convert. And then over time, you're trying to upsell them, cross sell them and make sure they renew. Regardless of what you wanna call it, this is how you go to market. This is how you literally go to the market so that people buy your product and you actually need a strategy to do this effectively. The more effective this is, the more people will realize how great of a product you've built. Otherwise, you might have had the best product in the market, the most incredible product in the market, but no one will ever try it and no one will ever know and all of your efforts will have gone to waste. So this is why it's super important to actually have a go-to-market strategy. Now, how do you actually build one? What does a good one look like? I'm gonna walk you through the three components that you absolutely need in your go-to-market strategy so that it is unstoppable. By the way, I want you to pause here for a second if you're a regular viewer of this channel. If you think you know what number one is, go ahead and comment below. Go ahead, just comment it below, we'll keep it honest. Comment below what you think what do you think principle number one is, and then I'll start it. Okay, go ahead and hit pause. You can put it in. I'll give it five seconds. All right, cool. <laughs> principle number one is you need to build an ideal customer profile. I know I say this all the time, but so many founders don't actually do it. They maybe have a one-liner for their ideal customer profile, but they don't actually have a profile. They don't actually have a fleshed out version of the firmographics, demographics, and all the trigger events that come around their ideal customer profile. And more importantly, when you are building your go-to-market strategy, you actually need to go beyond just an ideal customer profile. You also need to talk about what your initial customer profile is. Meaning, who are the first 100 customers you're gonna get? What do they look like? And how are you gonna expand from there? I did an entire three series video on building ideal customer profiles. You can check it out here, here, here. Don't worry, I don't expect you to click on those now. You can, I'll link to it below so you can check it out after this video. So you don't wanna miss out on the other two things. So ideal customer profile is super important and I have a lot of details on that. The second thing you need is you actually need to flesh out your positioning, your messaging, and most importantly, your strategic narrative. This is commonly known as product marketing, but it's the most important aspect of startup marketing that you need to nail. What is your positioning, what is your messaging, and what is your strategic narrative that you can align the entire market around and actually differentiate from the rest of the market on? This is super important, and this you actually have to answer in your go-to-market strategy. If you wanna dig more into what product marketing is and how to answer some of these things and how to think about some of these things, you can check out this video. I'll also link to it below. Now, before I go to number three, where I go into a little bit more detail, let me just pause here for a second. Do you have a go-to-market strategy? Do you have it written down? Do you have an ideal customer profile that's flashed out? If you do, go to smash that like button because you are a genius and you are awesome and your SaaS business is gonna be amazing. And if you don't, you are still a genius because you now will actually write one out, right? So go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's go dig into principle number three. Principle number three is you have to think about your customer journey. 
AKA your sales and marketing funnel, depending on what you wanna call it. What does that mean? So a good go-to-market strategy, once they've actually thought about the market and the ideal customer profile and flushed it out and thought about your initial customer profile, once you've flushed out your positioning, your messaging, your strategic narrative, once you've done all of this, then you're kind of have to think about, well, how do we mobilize this to attract the people and to convert them to a lead, to convert them to a sales conversation or some sort of conversion? How do we do all these pieces, right? This is the, the customer journey where your sales and marketing funnel comes in. Now, I like to build unstoppable sales funnels. I did an entire video on this over here. You can check it out. But there's some specific questions you need to answer. Number one, what are you gonna do inbound? Number two, are you gonna do outbound? Number three, are you gonna run ads? Number four, are you gonna do SEO? Number five, are you gonna do partnerships or marketplaces that you're gonna hook into? Number six, are you gonna have a sales-driven organization or a marketing-driven organization? Is it gonna be inside sales or outside sales or some sort of hybrid? Can you afford to hire full-time SDRs to do the outbound? All of these questions you need to actually flesh out. Now, I went through pretty quickly on this and it's not to like confuse you or anything. It's because it's kind of outside the scope of this video. I did an entire video right here on how I scaled Toadapp to 100,000 users using one core growth hacking strategy that incorporated all these things, but specifically number five. So you can check that video out over here. I'll also link to it below. If you wanna dig a little bit more into how all of this stuff works and how to make decisions around this, that's a good video to start on. Um, you can also check out my Unstoppable Sales Funnel video, which kind of adds to the other pieces as well. Okay, so that's what I wanted to walk you through today. So, so let me recap. You need a go-to-market strategy that you actually write out, especially if revenues are the big focus and you wanna navigate the path to the next stage of growth. A great go-to-market strategy answers the questions around how are you gonna attract these people? Who are these people? How do you turn them into a lead? How do they get into a sales conversation or convert on their own? How do you upsell, cross-sell, and how do you renew? It answers all those things in a cohesive way. How do you actually dig into that? Well, you need, first need to make sure your positioning, your messaging, and your strategic narrative is solid, and then you can dig into your actual customer journey. In terms of your customer journey, you need to answer, are you gonna do inbound, outbound, ads, SEO, and all of these things? And I kind of linked to a couple of videos on this that you can dig more into where I go into a lot more detail on this specific component. I've done a lot of videos on this. And that's how you actually build out your go-to-market strategy. What I recommend is you actually have one page where you actually flush these things out. In a prior video, I talked about how to build an overall strategy on growth. You can check that out here. I'll also link to it below. In there, I kind of talk about what are the other pillars. And what I would do is create a one-page strategy that's your overall strategy and one-page strategy specific to your go-to-market strategy. If you have those two things, you're gonna be able to navigate this path to the next stage of growth. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I almost feel a little guilty that I went through so quickly on this one, but like you would be bored if I went through each of these and I've done so many videos on these. Now, I do have one thing for you. If you really wanna dig into how to build a go-to-market strategy and how to drive growth, I have a free five point startup growth strategy guide. Inside of that, I go into a lot more detail into the questions you should ask and specific video resources that I have to help you figure out some of these things. So what I recommend that you do is you actually download a copy of that. You can follow the link below or you can just go to getunstoppable.com slash strategy. When you download that, you'll get this PDF with all the key questions, with specific videos that I've done. I'll also link to the videos I mentioned in this video down below, and they'll help you dig into it a little bit more. If you got value from this video, if you're excited about really creating the next version of your go-to-market strategy and accelerating growth, be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already for the YouTube algorithm. It just means the world to us. I drop a video like this every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon as well if you haven't already. And also if you have a friend, a co-founder, or a team member that would get value from this, be sure to share this or use the click to tweet button below. There's a special link for that uh, to tweet this out. It would mean the world to us. We put a lot of effort into these videos. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business, but when you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, I'll see you in the next episode.